Hi friends, in today's video, I will be showing you some of the products that I got from Sephora recently. Well, not some, just the Sephora products. I don't know why I said that. Just the Sephora products that I recently purchased that I have been trying. And um, I will do little mini reviews on each one, talk about if I like them, if I didn't like them, how I use them and all that jazz. So if you wanna see all that, keep watching. So this is the Briogeo Style and Treat. And this is the Yuzu and Plum Oil Slick Stick. What I like about this, it's like a wax, um, but it's in like a twist up container. So I can throw this in my bag and just bring it with me, which I do. And what I love about it is I can just touch up my hair or I can use this to actually style my hair and slick it back so it stays in the ponytail. And this retails for 32 Canadian dollars at Sephora and it comes with 15 grams of product in this stick. And just from using it a few times, it doesn't really like use up a lot of product. So it's gonna last quite a bit of time. And I love this for the summer and just having it in my bag and I can use it on when my hair's down if I have flyaways or when my hair's up and I need to retouch it or just actually style my hair when it's up. I love using this because then I don't get my fingers all sticky with any wax that I have to like dip my fingers in and like rub through my hair. So I'll get into a demo now, but I absolutely love, love, love this product. I don't have anything in my hair. I'm just gonna, what I love about this is it's just so easy to use and you can just put it like anywhere in your hair and it goes on so nicely and it's not greasy feeling. Like it's a really nice quality wax. And I carry this in my purse because when I have my hair down, I, t I have a lot of like frizzy little hairs at the top. So I like to take this from my purse and just like quickly, lightly brush it over the top of those and they stay down And this way. I don't have to have hairspray with me. Sometimes I'll forget, most of the time I'll forget to take some hairspray on my hands and just kind of brush down those little flyaways. But this has been lovely in my bag because I can just put this at the top and tame all the flyaways. And what I like about it is it's so small. It smells lovely. And when I touch my hair, it doesn't feel greasy and sticky. You can feel there's like something in it, like product in it, but it's not thick and goopy. And yeah, and like I said, it smells really nice. It's not super overpowering the scent. And I just like how clean it looks when you put it in your hair. Like it's just, the hairs are moving a little bit there. Um, but I just like how clean it looks. Like even when I put on the dark sides, like where my hair is dark, like where my roots are, you can't really see it. There's no like, it doesn't leave a like, any marks, any white marks or anything. Next is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Niacinamide Hue Drops in Sun Glow. So these are similar to, this one is similar to the one that they have in the pink bottle, but this one has like a sheer tint to it with a little bit of a glow. So when you put it on your skin, it evens out your skin tone a little bit. It has a very sheer tint, like I mean very sheer, so it's not coverage, but it gives your skin like a nice glow. It doesn't tan your skin, but it just gives it that nice little, healthy look. It retails for $47.50. It's a four, I believe. And this one is the, it comes in 40 milliliters. I'll just put a little bit on the back of my hand and then I have a demo for you guys, but that's basically, it's very sheer. Like I said, it's not going to give you any coverage, but it just gives your skin a nice healthy glow. I'm just gonna take a half a pump and just put it on one side of my face just so you can see the difference. It's about that much. It's really awkward just putting product on half of my face, but it's not like it tans my face a lot, but it gives it a nice color and a nice glow. It just gives it a little something. It's like a little filter. So side without, side with. I just really like the way this side looks. It's not coverage or anything like that. It's just a little bit of glowiness and a little bit of a tint, like a touch, a touch of a tint to the skin. And it just makes your skin look more hydrated and healthy. So I'll do the other side. And it smells really nice, it smells like watermelon. Now, my favorite will forever, forever be the By Terry. Uh, I think it's Celly Rose, Vitamin C, um, serum in sunny flash that one is the greatest like glowy types nothing has ever made my skin look that good but this is a very close second i just like how easy it is to blend and how it just makes my skin look a little bit healthy a little bit of a judge if i'm going to the gym or something and i just want my skin to have a little bit of life to it i'll throw this on and call it a day the next product i have been avoiding buying it for the longest time just because it's not something that i find is necessary in my skincare routine or lip care routine, I guess, because I could use Vaseline instead. But I caved because they came out with a 
watermelon pop flavor. So I had to overpay for this. And let me tell you, I love it so much. It smells like a watermelon lollipop, like a Jolly Rancher hard candy, the watermelon flavor. Oh my God. And it gives your lips a nice little rosy tint when you put it on. I have a lipstick on now, so I won't put it on, but I love this. This retails for $32.50 Canadian at Sephora. And it comes with this cute little baby spatula to pick up the product. Look at this. Can we just talk about this? How, how adorable. So you take this, you scoop out the product and you put on your lips. And I do this at night before bed and I sleep with it on. And what shocked me the first time I used this is I woke up in the morning and my lips were still like really juicy and wet looking. That's a weird word to use for my lips. But yeah, they just looked really wet like this, like I just applied this to my lips. It stayed on all night and when I wiped it off in the morning to put on like a lip balm or a lip oil, my lips were so soft. Oh, I loved it. Do I need this? Absolutely not. It's not necessary. I Vaseline does a fantastic job as well, but this was definitely a splurge because it's a watermelon flavor. So I had to, I had to do it because when I smelled it, I was like, this is it. This is, I have to try it. So I really love it. Thank God the watermelon ones is a limited flavor. So I will not be buying this over and over again. And I feel like this, like this is going to last me a long time because a little bit goes a long way. So I really like it. Um, do I think this is necessary? Like I said, no, but it was definitely a nice little splurge and a nice little treat. Onwards we go. Next item is this aluminum free deodorant by Salt and Stone. The scent that I have is neroli and basil. It retails for $27 Canadian at Sephora. And it smells heavenly. Oh my God, does it smell good. Now, if you are just using this on a regular day where you're just, you know, prancing about your house, not doing any strenuous activity, it's not a hot day, this is going to do well. If you have anxiety, let me tell you now, so you don't get your hopes up, this does nothing for you. Because if you know, and you have anxiety, you know that that perspiration is a different beast than regular day-to-day -day perspiration. Anxious sweat just hits different and is stronger and it's just more violent and aggressive than regular perspiration. So this stands no chance against that. So for that, for every day, I do use an aluminum antiperspirant because that is the only thing that works for that anxious sweat. But if I'm doing nothing and around the house, I did try this for about a week and a half. And let me tell you, I really loved it until one day I was like, my armpits feel a little bit sore. So I looked under there and guess what I had? Pimples. I had some pimples from this magical thing. And I knew it was from this thing because it was the only thing I was using for about a week and a half. And once I stopped using it within a couple of days, it cleared up. So I have not used it since I will be returning it. I have never had this experience with an aluminum free deodorant. The native deodorants I find are better than this. They're a little cheaper, but even those I think are insanely expensive. Um, but this one is $27 where the, uh, native ones I think are $20 or just under $20. Still a lot. Don't get me wrong, but 27 for aluminum free is a little nuts. Um, so yeah, I would not recommend this. I didn't love it and I like the scent. I think it was lovely, but other than that, I just was not, not for me or my pits or my anxious sweats. So that's a no for me. And then the last item I purchased for recently is this cologne. This is uh, by Valentino. It's the Born in Roma. It's the 50 milliliter bottle and it retails for 130 Canadian dollars at Sephora. I have, I'm almost done my Vanilla Keali 28 perfume. Loved it. It was delightful. Really enjoyed it. 
but I wanted something different. I generally don't keep repurchasing the same thing over and over again because I like to switch it up, especially when it comes to fragrances. And if I do repurchase it, it's just for me to kind of have as like a backup option. So I went to Sephora. I was sniffing around the perfume section and uh, this gentleman came to help me and said, what uh, scent profile are you looking for? So I told him, well, here's something that's that's nice and fresh, a little bit citrusy maybe. It's got some some woodsiness scent to it, maybe a bit of smokiness. And he kept showing me different perfumes and none of them were hitting the spot. None of them were tickling my pickle. And I thought, I'm never gonna find something new. And then I said to him, hold on. I just wanna let you know, I have no issue dipping my toe in the cologne section. So if there's something there that you think would Kind of fall into that scent profile fragrance profile that i gave you whip it out let's smell it he pulled this one out and i love the bottle right away when i saw it but i was like i i'm not a huge fan of the perfume version of this but he said trust me just try it out this one's actually a really popular one and women have purchased it in the past so i was like okay cool i tried it and it smelled so good it smelled so good and my friend was with me and she's like, yeah, that's that's lovely. So I bought this bottle, lasted, I, I tried it on for the day. I'm like, you know what, if it doesn't last today while I'm out and about, I'll just return it. And it mixed so nice with my skin chemistry. Oh, and just the smell is so good and it's fresh and it's, mm, love it. It lasts really nicely throughout the day and I've gotten so many compliments, so many compliments when I wear this. It's nuts. I've never gotten that many compliments for any perfume I've ever worn before. This one, most compliments I've ever gotten. I was shocked. But let me tell you what the fragrance notes are. So, uh, mostly it is um, violet leaf, ginger essence, cedar essence. It's got some sage essence, lavender essence, peppermint, salt, and then it also has some wood essence. And let me tell you, with all of those, it still has the nicest, fresh smelling scent ever. Like I would like this, if a guy wore it as well, it just smells really good. Oh, it it's so fresh and refreshing and nice. So I, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Love it. And I got the Eau de Toilette, so it's super strong. A little bit goes a long way, but it's just, it has been my new little bestie that I just put on every day and it just brings me joy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make or products you'd like me to review. I will soon do a little favorites uh, video of like different things that are my favorites, not just like skincare products, but books or like whatever I've been using in my life recently that I have been absolutely loving. So I'll do something like that soon, but let me know if there's any other products you'd like me to review or videos you'd like to see. I love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It really means a lot and I will see you next time.